Uh, good afternoon to you. I am Dr. Aditya Pradhan. I am a senior consultant in urology at Kidney Transplant at BL Kapoor Hospital at Pusa Road, New Delhi. So this afternoon I intend to speak a few words on kidney stones. Now, kidney stones are formed because of deposition of salt in the kidneys. Now, these are slightly different from gallstones. Gallstones are basically formed in the gallbladder because of concentration of bile happening in the gallbladder. They may be painful in the kidney, in the, in the gallbladder, or may not be painful. And therefore, treatment of gallstones is actually determined by symptoms. If the patient has a gallstone which is producing pain, then the gallbladder in the entirety is removed. But if the gallstone is silent, nothing is done. Now compare this to kidney. In kidney stones, the first tenet of management is that the stone must be removed irrespective of whether there is pain or no pain. So that's the first thing to be remembered. That there is no such thing as since there is a stone which is not causing pain, it can be left there. I think that's a myth. So, that's the f let's now just talk about the why kidney stones form. So, like I told you at the outset, stones in the kidney are formed because of a deposition of a salt. Now, these salts are most commonly calcium oxalate stones. So, that means that there is calcium and there is oxalate and when these two combine together, they form a hard stone called calcium monooxalate or calcium dioxalate dihydrate. So these are the two variants which we find in the Indian population. So these calcium stones constitute more than 90% of the stones that we find in India. The other stones which we get sometimes are uric acid stones, which is formed from uric acid. And the other then the third most common stones we get are infection stones, which are stones formed when there is gross UTI in a patient which is untreated for a long time. So, why does a calcium oxalate stone form? That is what we need to understand. Well, we don't know always the reasons for a calcium oxalate stone to form. There are some definite predisposing factors. The first thing is this, there's a genetic disposition because of the way that the kidney handles the urine and the salts which pass out of the urine. So there's a familial <laughs> risk of forming a kidney stone. The second is environment related. It relates to our diet and our lifestyle. So stone formation occurs more in the hot countries like India and in the summer months when the, there's a lot of sweating and therefore the fluid loss is high and then urine gets concentrated. So weather plays a big change. Now the third is in the diet. Now when we say diet, oxalate rich stones, uh, oxalate rich diets are what the patient needs to be aware of and then he has to avoid it. So what are oxalate rich products? So oxalate rich products are ground nut, cashew nut, so all the nuts, ground nut, cashew nut, walnut, all these are very high oxalate uh, containing uh, food products. The second is <coughs> green leafy vegetables like uh, palak, methis or so. These have a very high oxalate product, uh, oxalate volume. The third is all fizzy drinks like Coke, Pepsi. These also tend to give a high oxalate load to the patient. So what we advise a patient is that if you have had a stone or if there is a stone history in the family, you should have firstly a high fluid intake, about 2 to 2.5 litres of water every day. The second is that you must avoid excessive amounts of nuts. Some people are in the habit of snacking on these dry fruits and you should avoid that. If you have, want to have nuts, a little bit at a time. Chocolates are another high uh, oxalate produce, uh, containing food and therefore it should be just in very small quantity. Avoid fizzy drinks like Coke and Pepsi. If you want to have a beverage, it is better to have a vitamin C containing beverage like maybe a lemon or lime juice as the preferred beverage. 
also make it a point to try and avoid high intakes of processed foods like burgers and pizzas because these also tend to have a high oxalate level. Indian green leafy vegetables are quite common part of our diet. So like if you are having palak or sarso, it's better to add some milk product like methi or uh, has to go along with paneer or some such thing. So these are the kind of uh, dietary precautions that we advised. Finally, in treatment of stones, as I mentioned to you, small or large doesn't matter. Painful or painless doesn't matter. Every patient of kidney stone must see a urologist and get a stone. Thank you.